and welcome to the Medicine R3. You're now the proud owner of this wonderful new scanner. I want to take a few moments of your time just to get you going with it, to tell you a few of the very basic functions. So, the very first thing you want to do is be able to set it up so you can scan for the first time. So if you come to your patient, put in a new patient ID, put in a new name for that patient as well. And then once you've done that, you can enter in all these other details, date of births, ages, genders, or you can just hit OK. Once you've hit OK, that is then stored securely, and any images that you save on this scanner will now be stored in the scanner's memory, uh, so that you're not going to have any problems with uh, images being assigned to the wrong patient. So you can see we have ID number 3333 with patient name BCF. So basically you're now ready to scan. Take your transducer and you can start to scan I, as you like. Now, the very first thing you have to do when you start scanning is come to your applications button and choose what you're going to scan. So this, t this time we're using the musculoskeletal program and we're going to choose to scan the suspensory. So choose the suspensory and then go OK. This now sets the scanner up appropriately for scanning the suspensory. So you don't have to guess. We've done all the hard work for you, getting all these presets and programs set up. You can see that we're on the musculoskeletal program. We're using the 5 to 12 megahertz, 40 millimeter probe. Then the scanner is set to 5 centimeters of depth. So we're looking at 5 centimeters of depth on the screen here at the moment. And we're showing a resolution frequency as well. So you can now start to scan your suspensory. As you scan, you can change your depth, making the image bigger or smaller as you see fit. You can change where we're focusing. You can see these focus points down the side here. If you want to increase the number of focus points, you can do that with button number four here, which increases or decreases your number of focus points. You can change the frequency. That has gone to penetration now, which is five megahertz or indeed general, which is 8 MHz. Just circles through, so your frequency button gives you that capability to change the nature of the image. At any point you can freeze your image with the freeze button and then use your roller ball to track back through to get to that very image that you wanted to save. Then hit the save button. Simple as that. And you can see that it saves you a stored image. If you want to do any measurements, if you hit the caliper button, it brings you up this uh, green coloured caliper. Move it to the area that you want to measure. Press set, this button here on the right hand side of the trackpad. Move it down to the area of interest. Press set again. Move the other one across, automatically brings you up another cursor of another even jazzier colour than before. And again you can then measure. And then once you've done all the measurements, you can then save that as an additional image for your review at some point later. Ready to go, just hit freeze and away you go and you can continue to scan the, the organ of interest. So as you can see, really, really straightforward. A couple of other things to consider. The level of gain, which is the overall brightness of the image. Now too much gain is not a good thing, so please be careful not to use too much. The scanner's got this nice Q scan button here. And if you hit the Q scan button, it will then automatically set the scanner up for the level of gain that it believes you should be using. You can see it's asking you to exit QScan, so if you use the exit button here, which is this guy running away. Great button, if you ever get lost anywhere, hit that and you're, you're sure to uh, get yourself out of trouble. You also have these controls down here, which are controlling gain at specific areas of your interest. These are called TGC controls. You can see that one's controlling the, the near field. This one is controlling the middle field. So that's the, this is apportionate to the level of depth on the image. The key thing, have these more or less set up in the middle and just adjust them appropriately and, sm and over a small range to get the type of image that you require. So as you can see, the Medicine R3 really is a straightforward and simple scanner to use. Okay, and to review the images, it's very, very straightforward. If you hit the Son of You button, it takes you back into the Son of You program and you can see the images I, that you've had. Come to the one you want, highlight it, double click it, and it brings that image back up. 
So these images can now can be archived off onto your computer system, associated with your patients and your practice management system, or indeed sent off via DICOM straight into your PAC server. Very straightforward, very simple. The, the Medicine R3 system you won't uh, be able to do without. Thank you very much and hopefully this introdu introductory video has been of use to you.